the empty space on the top, 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 topmost shelf of my east side grow area. Yeah, there is a reason for that because it's all happening down here. <laughs> So the plan for this video is to update you on all my Ancelia Africanas while I up-pot the intention of up-potting three of them, which I will explain. So I'm so glad you're here and I hope that you will join me for the entire experience. <laughs> I am anxious to get them out of the pot. But first of all, I'm gonna tell you that all the small pots, that's two of them right here in 15 centimeter pots, these two will be up potted. And then other one that I want to up pot is right here. It's gonna go into a bigger pot as well. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Now, first of all, I do wanna get them all out of their pots though. Oh, and then we'll have a close look at what's going on there. Now, <laughs> Ancelias being Ancelias, we'll probably have everything rock hard, just like with this one. Thank goodness though, they are pretty easy to handle. They are rough and tough and they can take some abuse. So that's working in our favor. And for that reason, it's hammer time. I gotta be careful my hammer has come, become dislodged. Just small little taps. I don't want the hammerhead to come flying off. <laughs> it's just a little rubber hammer. But I've been leaving it in the sun, which is not a good idea. That means that the rubber has gotten a little bit softer and can now move around. And this is how it's going to be for all three that I'm going to repot because you can see how vigorous the root growth is. So unless something untoward happens, I'll be back when I've got them all out of the pot. Next up. <laughs> To say that Ancelia Africanas can take a beating is an understatement. <laughs> that is a minimum, minimal yield of lecker that I can reuse again. <laughs> And the new pots are gonna gobble up even more. Interesting. <laughs> because we're bumping up the pot size quite a lot. Not just a single pot size, no. We are going maybe two sizes higher, in one case, three. This is Ancelia Africana, Kenya mud crossed with self. All the roots are looking fabulous. I would say this is up pot worthy. Not even gonna mess with the tag, but look at that. There's also still breathing space down there. If I want to really push it, I can pull out the microfiber. We also have some active roots right in the center. So there's that. Acelia Africana Kenya mud crossed with self has not bloomed for me. That would be numero uno. A different looking root system desperately in need of more space, which it will get. I will not be getting these roots back in the pot, but they're doing their little basket thing up there, catching nutrients from whatever they would be able to capture if they were out in nature. New root coming here. Now, if this one were to be in organic media, I would take a saw and cut it all the way up to here. Literally just chop 50% off whether I'm going to live roots or not, and Celia Africanas can handle all that kind of abuse. Seeing as I'm in inorganic media, 
I have a lot of dead roots in here. <laughs> I am not picking those out. While Ancelia Africana roots can be super tough, super spiny and spiky, they can cause some pain. Uh, yeah, they're also a little bit more gelatinous in the pot. So this would take me maybe, I would say probably four hours to do. But because it's an Ancelia Africana, I'm just potting it up. Oh, gotta love orchids that can take a little bit more of a deviation from the normal fussing, fussing, worrying, worrying styly. Now I don't want to break the beautiful reaching root tips there. They look so pretty, not my intention, but if I did, it would not be that big a deal. Eventually they go crispy anyway, but oh, while they look so beautiful, I shall maintain it. And here is Ancelia Africana Joe crossed with puff adder. Hmm. This one is going to be up potted, even though I would believe there's more space in the pot just from the surface, the visual, but I'm only getting four new growths. One being there, one being there, another one coming in through the middle, and another, oh, five, two in the back. So yeah, look, it's already very pot bound. But I would like to actually have two more new growths out of this orchid. She did bloom for us two seasons ago, not this season. So I'm thinking that maybe with the up pot, maybe with more space, maybe, 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 I think it'll serve her well to get more space. Five new growths, five new root system. They need a bigger pot. So I'm going to get this out of the way because I'm going to prepare my little assembly line of up potting, but not before I show you my first ever Ancelia Africana that came just as two separate pieces with one and a half or two puny little canes. This orchid has never bloomed for me. She is the OG in my collection and well, she should have been the first one to bloom, but she was in such a pathetic state. I do believe that she is in recovery year in, year out, year in, year out. I've already up potted her once, hoping for some blooms this year, not happening. Growing well though, thankfully. One new growth right there. Another one is peeking over in the back right here, just coming out. And this one is maturing already. This orchid doesn't respond to light training the way I want to because the light source is right here. And look where it's going. It's not even correcting itself. But anyway, it's a bit stunted. I'm not sure that it even knows what it wants to do you see this cane here is super long. That's what I would like to achieve. And everything's a little bit puny. So I was thinking of up potting it. I still have time to change my mind. I'm not gonna do it in this video. I'm just thinking I'm gonna keep pumping more fertilizer into her and see if that can be corrected. Right, assembly line. Let's get these three beauties into their spanking new homes. 20 centimeter pot, no guesses who gets that. 20 centimeter pot, no guesses who gets that. And then we're gonna have to step back. <laughs> because Puff Out Across with Joe is going into a 24 centimeter pot. So that is my assembly line. Here is my media. Thankfully, Ancelia Africanas are what they are. They can take, as you saw, abuse. They will handle it quite well. They're also very needy orchids when it comes to fertilizer. They're also not so fussy when it comes to their media. Give them something to grow on and they will do just fine. Give them enough water, they will do just fine. Fertilize them and they go into beast mode. So I'm using all my nasty lecker. All this shrapnel, it's horrible. I'm using this for crocking. I've got a lot of it, and I do not want to use that with orchids that are a little bit more finicky and fussy around their tootsies. And then I've got a whole barrage of large leca over there. <laughs> it's just, yeah, let's get this show on the road. Enough jibber jabber. I'm just gonna double check if I'm happy with the 20 centimeter pot, or if I'm gonna regret it. <laughs> Let me tell you, this one only has one new growth coming. It should have two. So maybe we can trigger a second new growth, but... Oh, one more look. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's one new root system. A dead root system. Well, semi-dead root system. I think that's going to be okay in there. This one, however, has three new growths coming. Ooh-wee. 
Three new growths. Do we want to do this again in 2023? Yeah, why not? Because they're fun to repot and up-pot. This one, however, with its five new growths, I think we should be okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay, everybody is in the middle except this one because back in the day when I got this one it had two canes so I put it up against the edge of the pot you know as you do let the growth habit of the orchid move its way towards the inner of the pot well <laughs> if you're repotting every second year to be honest with you aesthetics for me is very important it looks kind of silly to have a few canes right at the edge of the pot and as you can see now I'm limited with where I can place it but I'm going to move it as close to the center as I possibly can so that this looks a little bit more evened out. Just a little help from my friend, Water. I'm not going to be too, let's say, insistent about where the lecker falls, but because it's not because of the roots now, it's just because of the narrow gap that I have in between what is the orchid and the space into the pot. While I would prefer a mix of small and large lecker, simply because they are so water hungry, I'm only using large lecker for these because as these pots are going to gobble up quite a bit of media, I would prefer to have my small lecker for other projects. So I'm just going to have to be very aware that these orchids are in large lecker only now and they're going to need a lot of flushing and watering. Now, not in the video, but it may be that especially with this pot right here, right where it turns into like a crescent shape if large lecker doesn't fit in there i will go in and top that up with small lecker One last thing, 420 parts per million of calcium nitrate. Generous helping. The reservoir now empties out with the other pots every three days. I'm anticipating a week should be good enough. We shall see if I'm right. If not, I have my redom with these ones, as with my catacetinae. They like their liquid at the moment. Prior to that, I had 500 parts per million of fertilizer because I would like to pump these up to size and see what they're capable of, especially the one that is OG that should be blooming long before the others. Whew, one more thing left to do, and that is to hoist them up to their shelf again. <laughs> Oh boy, I am in so much trouble come winter. There's Siliano in his jungle gym supervising what I was doing. Now, that is the status quo for my Ancelia Africanas until about mid-November, depending on the night temperatures end of November. When they have to come inside at night during the winter, it is going to be a nightmare. Anyway, we're gonna enjoy everything that they have ready and going for us up to the end of that time. Just live in the moment and just don't worry about what's gonna happen in the future. I'm glad that this is done. I didn't gobble up as much large leka as I thought I would, so that is a bonus. I've already reorientated them with the direction of growth. And if you are wondering why 420 parts per million of calcium nitrate, well, I wanted 500 and I came up a little bit too short with my little pinches. <laughs> so 420, I wasn't gonna fandangle around much longer. I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for your company. I thank you for watching and I wish you a fabulous day on that one condition though, please that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.